Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking fragrant spicy chicken or kan guoji. So let's start cooking. First, we'll need to marinate the chicken. I'm using over here one whole chicken weighing about one kilogram. Cut them into bite-sized pieces like this. We will need two tablespoons of Chinese rice wine. If you do not take alcohol, you can omit this step. Next, we need to add in one tablespoon of light soya sauce. We'll be adding in also one and a half teaspoon of salt. Next, we'll add in two tablespoons of corn flour. We'll also be adding in dashes of pepper, white pepper. Let them marinate for half an hour to 45 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. Now we are going to fry the potatoes. Heat up a pan of oil, right? When you see that, when you put a bamboo skewer inside, you can see a lot of bubbles rising up. That means the oil is very hot. Slowly we'll add in the potatoes. We just need to fry them to a light golden brown and then we'll remove them from the oil. You must be wondering why there's so much bubbles in my oil. Because previously I've used the oil to fry some prawns. This will take a little bit of time, approximately 8 minutes or 10 minutes around there. The potatoes are done. we we'll remove them from oil. And after this, we will fry the chicken. Now we will fry the chicken. I'm using medium heat over here, so you can do the same. Okay, make sure you mix them up well first before you fry them. Don't overcrowd it. I'm going to divide this into two batches to fry. Okay, just fry them into a light golden brown will be good. I might splatter a little bit, so just be careful. You just need to fry this to a light golden brown, as you can see, something like this will be good. So we remove this from oil, and we fry the second batch. I'll be using a clay pot for this dish. In the event you do not have a clay pot, you can of course use your wok to fry this, or use your Dutch oven, it will be fine too. So now we will heat up our clay pot, add in 2 tablespoons of sesame oil. Spread the oil around, so that later all the ingredients will not stick onto the clay pot. I have with me over here 10 grams of young ginger minced up, 4 cloves of garlic chopped up, and 4 pieces of shallots chopped up. We will put them into the clay pot too. We also add in one whole piece of star anise. Stir them for a minute or two or until fragrant. Now if it's too dry, you can still add in a little bit more oil. I've also rehydrated 10 pieces of dried chili. If you do not like it too spicy, of course you can reduce the number of dried chili over here. I've deseeded them so that it will not be too hot. Quite your fragrant. Well, we can start to smell the dried chilies, the garlic, the shallots, the ginger. Really, really good. Next, we'll add in 3 tablespoons of spicy bean paste or tou pan jiang is the correct. Fry them until fragrant. I'll be adding in 1 cup of water. If you do not want to deep fry your chicken or your potatoes, of course you can cook them in the sauce together but add a little bit more water. The reason why I want to deep fry my potatoes as well as my chicken is because after deep frying, Firstly, the potato will keep its shape very nicely and secondly, the chicken and the potatoes will be able to absorb this sauce very beautifully. We add 1 teaspoon of sugar to here to balance up the taste. It smells really good. Let's just give this a taste now. Nice. I'll be adding in also 2 tablespoons of light soya sauce. 
When this comes to a boil, we we'll add in the potatoes and the chicken. And the chicken. We will also add in three pieces of red chili, big red chili cut up, as well as three pieces of green big chili cut up also. I've removed the seeds so that they will not be too spicy. Let's put them all in. Give it a good stir. Stir them up well. Let the potatoes as well as the chicken absorb the beautiful sauce. Look at how beautiful this dish is. Now we put the lid on and cook it for approximately 3 minutes. 3 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Wow, smells really really good. We are pouring 2 tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine or Hua Tiao Jiu by the side. Give it a light stir again. Alright, this is what we want. Beautiful. Very beautiful dish. Okay, to finish this dish, we will spread in some spring onions. As well as some white sesame seed. Okay, we shall serve this dish now. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. A piece of the potato. Mm. You can taste a little bit of spiciness inside there. The fragrance from the garlic, the ginger, really, really good. Let me try a piece of chicken. Let's take one piece of the drumstick. Let's just give this a taste. Mm. The sauce actually permits into the chicken. Really nice. I think this will go really, really well with rice. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our fragrant spicy chicken or kan kuo I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.